he, he, he immediately saw me and he stared back and we had these locked gazes for about five seconds. And it was just my way of saying, Lance, you know what? I have nothing, but I'm still here and I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> and if I could leave you with a final story, because what I've, sound, what I've told you about might seem, might seem intense kind of an experience. Um, but it, it, it had funny moments. And perhaps the funniest for me was, oh, it was only about six months ago. I was uh, invited up to the Belfry by a friend of mine, former Sunday Times journalist, Brian Dugan. He said, look, he said, the Aston Villa Football Club have a little thing going on with a game of golf. He said, I'm playing with two football friends of mine. I don't know if any of you played golf, but my view is that anybody, any able-bodied man should be, should be able to play at a handicap of 18 or less. <laughs> Steve Guppy, international with England, had a 22 handicap. He starts and he makes a par at, par at the first hole, par at the second, par at the third, par at the fourth, and then on the really murderously long par four fifth hole, he makes birdie. And I just think this is lunacy. You know, how can this guy have a handicap, be this good and have a handicap of 22? But I say, David, calm down. The guy just may be having a brilliant day. I say, he's a, he seems a really nice guy. I said, do not say anything untoward. So I say, I say, brilliant birdie, Steve. You know, well done, great putt. And he said, thanks very much. And we get to the next tee. I know I've gone, I've lost it. I, I can't hold myself back. And I say, Steve, look, 22 handicap, five holes, you're one under. I say, it's fraud. I said, you know, I said, plain and simple. And he looked at me, and I swear it's true as I'm standing here. He went down on his knees, and he said, oh, David, please don't pursue me for 13 years about this. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>